Hi everyone and welcome to today's video on power functions. It's weird really because I think of power and then I've got like uh, the batteries, that's not particularly funky, or He-Man. Now that's a throwback to my younger life and this plane behind me and wow, He-Man and the power of... I'm sure he said Thor. I don't really know now, it's weird because that was like many many years ago. I think they did the reboot and then you go Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Power Rangers, yeah again. I must have led a very bright, uh, must have led a very, um, I must have led a very deprived childhood because I don't remember watching these either. So what has this got to do with anything to do with math? Absolutely nothing! But it was an interesting way to open a video. Bye bye! So welcome, thank you very much for joining me. If this is the first time, do me a favour, can you click the little subscribe button over in that corner if you're watching on YouTube, and if not, well, just head over to YouTube and watch my videos. Um, it's really good to see you. Um, Mask Guru, trying to do what I can to sort of educate everyone out there in the world, and all the subscribers in the world will make things awesome for me. Um, anyway, uh, what's today's lesson about? Power functions, what is meant by a function? Now actually, if you read the stuff that's being highlighted above, you'll see that there's a lot of terminology, and the thing about methods is it's all terminology. So, uh, basically in this chapter we've been looking at range of functions. Um, now, the strange thing is there are lots of them. And many of them you have to know almost intimately, and that's something I'm not really getting into because that's way, way, way embarrassing. Uh, but the point of it is um, you've got to understand what a square root graph looks like, what a hyperbola looks like, a truncus, and all these sorts of graphs, which we are coming to, I promise. With regards to uh, language, this video is just going to briefly go over bits and pieces. And I suppose the first one uh, is this strictly increasing and decreasing. The thing about methods is it's all this notation stuff. And a lot of the questions, particularly in the exam, throw people because of the notation they use. The maths, I promise you, is actually not that complex. Algebra, yes, that's complex. If your algebra skills are good, you, you've got a fair chance of doing well. Um, but in this situation, if you read that notation, it says if x2 is greater than x1, then the function of x2 must be less than the function of x1. This function is strictly decreasing. So what they're basically saying is, if I choose two x values and call it, say, there's my x1, and there is, oh, I don't know, my value of x2, then what it says is, if the function of x2, that means if the y value for x2 is less than the y value of x1, the function is strictly decreasing. Now, I don't know about you, not exactly brain science, is it, or rocket science. The point of it is, though, we have to know the terminology. So what about strictly increasing? Well, it just does it the other way around. If x2 is greater than x1, and then function of x2 is greater than function of x1, it's a strictly increasing. So again, if x2, so let's choose my x2 value here, is greater than x1, let's choose my x1 value there, is the function of x2, i.e. is the y value of x2 greater than the y value of x1, it is strictly increasing. Again, not particularly challenging. Now, one of the things you do need to know is uh, power functions. And I don't think I can do that for the whole video, but we'll give it a go. Now, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions, and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.